All right, so today we are doing something different. It's going to be a tutorial on how to set up OBS and also phone mirror so you can stream live mobile games or just stream live on YouTube, Twitch, whatever the case may be. I needed a more clarified video and I figured maybe I should do it because I couldn't find one on YouTube. And that's all I've been doing, trying to figure out how to set up OBS, how to stream from my phone on OBS, and I finally figured it out. So, let's get to it. Go to obsproject.com. Um, I don't know what you have, so if you have a Windows, if you have a Mac, you're just going to download whatever is for you. Oops. <laughs> Once it's downloaded, you're going to open it up. I already have mine set up because I needed it for the video. So, make sure to mess with your settings on OBS. When you're messing with your settings, when you click on your output, make sure you have a recording path of where your video is going to save. I definitely forgot this and I couldn't find my videos. Another thing to keep in mind is your recording format. Switch it to MP4. Uh, mine was at MKV, so now I have to figure out how to convert my MKV file to a MP4 so I can upload it to you guys. Um, so make sure to do those things. Uh, as far as other settings on here, my OBS, once it opened up, it said do i want to configure it to the settings of my computer and that's what i did and it also configured it based on my internet so that's where there was no lag or no issues with mirroring my phone onto the computer so that was good um usually that gives you the option when you have just downloaded obs so after it is on your computer, you are going to press that plus button and you're going to add your scene. So I already have a few scenes. Um, this one is for my MacBook Pro scene. Um, so I can see my MacBook Pro and also see myself. Um, and then I have a stream starting screen, a live stream, a quick break, and a stream and so let's get into how you phone mirror or you add your video capture your image here using your webcam um, so you guys know what to do all right so what I did is I added my cam and I used the video capture device so I'm just gonna name this cam 2 cam 2 device would be FaceTime HD camera and woo, what do you know all right shrink this sucker down place it wherever you want um, but let me delete this you get my drift okay. this is the app that I am using on my phone and iPad download if you want to mirror from your phone or your iPad if you want to play a mobile game or stream it does not glitch there's no lag I didn't have any issues with lag so download let's view so this is my phone okay how I did this so I already showed you how to add your camera um, mirrored screen you're going to go press the plus sign um, you're going to go to display capture then you're going to pick let's view and that's going to give you your mirrored screen okay so another one just added onto my thing but I don't want that one so window capture delete this yes so just go into the Apple store for your iPhone and set it up and when you do well let me go home. So this is Let's View. Okay. 
and basically it's going to figure out what your Wi-Fi is, your IP address, and once you have it open, let's view. So this key code over here, 0122, is what we're going to use to get connected. Press connect with the pin. Okay, bam. We got that open. So now it's mirroring onto the computer. And now we can open up Clash Royale. So as you see, there was no lag for that. Uh, let's just do a quick match. I'm not really gonna play, but you can see that there's no issues. There we go. So this is how people be live streaming. But I don't wanna be live streaming. Like, I wanna be critiquing stuff. Oh my God, my green screen. It's a total <laughs> fail. Oh. All right. Um, but yeah literally no lag and it's a free app so let's view is the way to go um this is the second app that i downloaded the first one was a power a power something a power mirror a power something it looked like little blue mountains and it was a highly vouched for app on YouTube from some streamers. It's an app that you have to pay like 50 something dollars for and I paid for it and it did not work. The lag was so bad that whatever was on my phone, I was not seeing on the screen. Like it was It's like, well, how are you supposed to watch that? You can't. So, free is the way to go sometimes, whatever. Um, so, the game looks good. Now, how do you fix your overlay and make this screen basically look good? It's a great question, but we're gonna get into that. So be sure to check out Wayno and Clash since I already put on some Clash Royale for you guys. But let's get back into overlays. So these are a few websites that you can go on. Please download which overlay it suits your page. Your I, I guess your channel so i picked a few out that i liked i went on to miami vice and i saw this one so let's check this out so i just noticed that i need a monitor because me watching my desktop as i record it I can't see myself on the corner because I'm looking at my computer screen. So this is a big issue. Um, stuff YouTubers don't tell you right away. I'm gonna let y'all know y'all gonna need a monitor. A second monitor. But this is one of the overlays I was looking at. It's more like a game player one with this retro feel. And I kind of liked it because it has some hues of blue and if you go on my page, you're going to see my banner, and there's a pink, there's a teal, there's some blue, purple in there. So I thought this is cool, but this is the other overlay that I saw, which was kind of plain. Okay, here we go. So this is the glitch one. My bad. I don't know if, I, if we just saw this. Like, I think I'm losing my mind right now. Okay. Pretty basic. I don't think that's for me, though, but... Okay. I'm trying to be extra bougie on the... The YouTube. Okay. This is the other one that I saw, and it's by Visual by Impulse.com. It's pretty cute. It had that Valentine's Day feel, but there was some pink in there which I liked. So this kind of killed it for me because it had some blue and it looks like a present with candles. Um, I don't know who designed that, but I don't think that was a good mix. Hmm. Okay, next one. All right, I think this was my favorite one, and maybe this might be the one. 
so I can get into showing you guys how to set it up on OBS. So, again with the hues of blue and purplish and pinkish, it's not too much, I think. And again, I do not twitch, so I'm just going to have to customize it to my preference so I can set it up for OBS for YouTubing. So, the icons for social media look really nice, and it's animated, which I definitely want. I didn't want something boring. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I just don't like this. This right here around the camera cam. This one's okay. It's still kind of too alien-ish, gamer-ish. It's not me, but whatever. When I get good at designing, then maybe I'll do my own overlay. But for now, I'm being very lazy and just going to get one. Let's get out of this. 